What's going on, y'all? This is Crucial Keys. Uh, real quick, just give y'all a little heads up. Today is Sunday. I'm sorry, today is Saturday. Uh, just got back from rehearsal. Uh, it was it was cool. Um, just picked up some dominoes for me and my wife. About to go back home and uh, you know chill out a little bit. Uh, but anyway, I got some uh, uh, clips coming up for some um, tutorials. Basically, one is um, Jill Scott uh, Golden. Those chord progressions, I got those coming. Um, I got a qu I got a question, a comment slash question from a guy named Lush uh, Flex. Um, basically, he was asking me, uh, how do I know what chords to play for whatever song I'm playing? Uh, basically, do I just know that it come natural? Um, you know. Does your ear get better as you play and as you learn? So I'm going to answer all those questions for you and whoever else is in need of that. And uh, I'm going to basically break down how to uh, pick out the chords and how to train your ear so that you can, uh, you can be able to uh, point out what chords are what to the point where you can hear a song and you can you can know just by listening to the song without even touching a keyboard or an organ you know what chords are being played without even touching an organ you can hear the progression in your ear so and i'm gonna teach progressions too like like a, a basic progression is like seven three six two five one those progressions are used all the time so that progression I can hear that progression inside of a song if somebody plays it. I don't have to play. I don't have to touch, uh, find the key, find the chords. I can hear it. So, that, but that comes along with training your ear, and you know, basically playing a lot of experience. Once you get that experience under you, you play the progressions, you learn them, you get the scales down. You will literally be able to play any song there is, like. I'm not, you know, saying that to be cocky or nothing like that, because um, all the guys that I know, they'll tell you the same thing. Um, all the musicians that I know, they'll tell you the exact same thing. You'll be able to play any song, but you'll still have to learn the song, but you, will, it, you won't have to learn the chords because you already know the chords. You already played them already. And you take what you know, and all you do is you just take it to the next key. So if you only good in C sharp, take the chords you know in C sharp and go to D. And then when you master those chords in D, go to E flat. Same thing, go to E, then go to F, and then go to F sharp all, th all through the 12 keys. Make sure you go through all of them. And then you can say, I know how to play in all my keys. And then you'll be able to fluently play without struggle. You know, even if it's spontaneous playing, like somebody just gets up, gets up and sings, uh, uh, I love you, Lord, today. And they do it in, in D. You won't have an issue because you've already done, you know, basically trained yourself to play all the progressions in that key. So I'm gonna break all that stuff down, y'all. I ain't trying to make this long. Uh, like I said, this is my daily vlog. Uh, I missed yesterday, but don't 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 get mad at me for that, y'all. Just just bear with me. But anyway, uh, I'm out, y'all. Peace. Thanks for everybody. Subscribe, like. Everything you need to do is right down there. So go ahead and do that. So uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow, Sunday got to be up seven o'clock we got two services eight o'clock eleven o'clock 
So, for y'all musicians out there, let's, let's go ahead and do what we're supposed to do. All right, y'all. I'm out. Peace.